All right, today what I'm going to do is a comparison between a couple of resawing bandsaw blades. First one, the Timber Wolf, uh, it's a half inch width, four teeth per inch. And the second one will be the Wood Slicer from Highland Woodworking. I was going to include a third one from Grizzly, but honestly, the Grizzly blades are so bad. Uh, the only reason I keep this one around is to remind me never to buy from Grizzly again. It's a three tooth per inch and it's just, you're better off using a hacksaw if you're trying to cut any wood than trying to use a Grizzly blade. Uh, at some point in time I'll do a, a comparison between their uh, table saw blades and a good table saw blade. But anyhow, so I'm going to concentrate on the Timberwolf and the wood slicer from Highland. What I'm going to be using is a piece of three quarter inch cherry, or excuse me, uh, six and three quarter inch cherry. And um, I've got the wood slicer uh, ready to put on, but on the saw already I have the timber wolf. So we're going to start with the timber wolf. What I'm going to be doing is an actual time. Uh, if you want to time it yourself, uh, you can see how long it takes to cut through this block of wood. And I'm not uh, real concerned about getting it perfectly square or this or that. I'm just concerned with uh, what the cutting speed is going to be and what the wood's going to look like after I get it cut. So let me take it over here and turn the saw on. And uh, I'm going to put the camera on my head. Hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on. Okay, again, this is the Timberwolf blade. Hold on for one second, I gotta raise this up just a little. Suppose I should have checked this before I started. Alright. Alright, let's go. I think I'm seeing smoke coming out of the place.
let the thing slow down. All right, it cut it pretty well. Uh, it's rough, but it sure took a long time to cut that. So let's just see how well the wood slicer does, if it does any better or if it's just the same. All right, I've got to shut the camera off. I've got to take the saw apart, put the new blade on, and then we'll test the next blade. So we're back now, and uh, <clears throat> I've got the wood slicer blade installed. Uh, while I was doing that, I took the opportunity to make another video on how to install the blade, get everything set up just right. Uh, involves taking the table off the saw. So you may want to check that video out too if you have a Rikon band saw. So anyhow, now I'm going to start uh, cutting this second piece and I'll be using the wood slicer blade and we'll see if this one is any better than the Timberwolf. Alright. <clears throat> Again, this will be done in real time, so if you want to time how long it takes to do it, and compare it with the other. Um, <clears throat> if you have this bandsaw, or for that matter, any bandsaw, the lights that they give you with it are really not very well. Uh, they shine the they shine the light in the back of the blade. So what I've done is I've just taken a just a, just an old desk lamp that I picked up at uh, I don't know Goodwill or someplace. Screwed it onto the ceiling above, and now I can adjust this blade to wherever, or the light wherever I want it. So I never use the, the light that came with the saw. Anyhow, let's give this a try. Oops, better plug the saw in after uh, my last video I had to unplug it. By the way, this saw has been uh, changed over to 220 volt. <clears throat> okay, here we go. difference. Well, my friends, there is no comparison whatsoever. Uh, the Timberwolf blade, as you saw, was extremely difficult to cut through. I didn't know if it was the wood or what. The wood slicer blade from Highland, it went through this like butter. So one of two things, either this Timberwolf blade is a bad blade uh, and all the reviews you see on it are bogus or they just uh, sent me a bad blade. But whatever the case is, uh, it's going into the trash because a blade is worthless. I can't believe how fast I went through with a wood slicing blade. Uh, as far as smoothness goes, they're both about as smooth. This was the wood slicer. This was the timber wolf. Um, as you can see, it's you know nice and even all the way around, and it cut through in, in just a you know just a matter of under a minute with this thing. The Timberwolf blade. I don't know how long it took, but you can time it out yourself. So anyhow, definitely uh, say the Wood Slicer blade has won this contest. And uh, so, and again, I didn't even bother with the Grizzly blade because the Grizzly blade is so bad that uh, it's it's not it's not worth the effort to even put the blade on. And I'm going to say that as far as the Timberwolf also it's not worth the effort to put on. So, I hope this helps you out in your decisions.